what's good everybody welcome to my channel today we are going to be dealing with how to create a frame you know a better frame in corridor 2020 you know without further ado let's step into it so right now we are going to be using the, this image you know it's going to be uh, uploaded you know it's going to be uploaded with it uh, uh, this uh, we are I'm gonna upload the video alongside with this uh, image to image so that I can practice it you know so as if right now we are going to double click on this rectangle as I always do so automatically step into the page then let's reduce it make a copy of the the object you know drag it inward by pressing shift on your keyboard then you drag inward then you right click bam automatically it copies so right now we are going to power clip this into the object then we adjust now then we will uh, power clip this image too let me show you how to power clip you go over to object power clip place inside frame then click on the frame so alt to select it then you adjust so as this right now we are going to type uh a message that we're going to use you know let's make outline on this object white then you press f12 on your keyboard make it four that's not okay let's make it nine good so let's type our message our test happy bet happy birthday birthday happy day me fabulous at 40 40 so we are going to ungroup this by pressing on your keyboard by pressing ctrl k automatically breaks then you change the font let's use edward good then let's drag it into the uh position you want to position the test then you center it then right click to make to give outline then let's take it and let's make it three good now this right now let's draw it together then let's adjust that good group then make a copy turn this to black then you take in the outline by pressing f12 on your keyboard then let's make it eight good center this within it so at this right now let's let's make the outline a bit thicker let's make it 12 then good center then let's give it shadow click on shadow to then you drag it downward good let's darken it make this 100 okay 100 okay then you go over to object break drop shadow apart then you group now the main work right here is this break this then you make this bigger then click on your ellipse tool draw a perfect circle then adjusting wall then you let's give that blue now that there then let's make an adjustment right here good 
make a copy of this object okay. then you adjust that make this rear blue page down then turn this to magenta page down then you turn this to now let's trim off this circle then you select this select the outer layer trim off so right now we are going to uh, <coughs> round this test around this uh, circle the less adjust that press on your uh, shape to reduce the uh, space in between then turn it to white then you select that then you press keep on your keyboard shift on your keyboard then you select the circle then you locate test then you locate fit test to part that means on the circle then you adjust it just like so good go over to objects break this apart from that then you select the circle delete that reduce a bit then you reduce this good so right now we are going to trim this off press bezier to click on bezier to then you trim part of this off select the outer layer by press shift on your keyboard and select the layer and trim off then select that again select the inner circle trim off then you delete this are you following so right now we are going to do something creative right here so as this right now we are going to group this group that then you turn that to white let's make a copy of that then you change it to blue center it then you page down, control page down, press control page down on your keyboard, then you make it 17. Good. Let's make it 40. Good. So right now let's give this shadow. Select the whiter, you know, test. Then you give a shadow. Good darken it let's make it on dread okay good then you go over to objects break shadow apart then you group the whole thing go then let's select this test you know bidding me fabulous arts you know let's give it outline blue then you press f12 on your keyboard let's change it to 15 bind scale with object then round here okay good so as this right now let's give a shadow give a shadow good then let's go over to this way make it on dread good then you go over to object then you break drop shadow apart let's group the whole thing group then you bring it all up onto the you know frame reduce that good can you see that let's adjust the flowery background let's adjust that good then let's shift this uh creative uh fabulous at 40 shift it up good now we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below 
and don't forget to turn on the notification button in case i have something special and don't forget to like the video and share the video so that other people can take advantage of you know bye for now